Callaway Paradigm to Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. The ultimate independent comparison. So we have our videos on the update on the new Paradigm AI Smoke and the technology that's involved with it. And so if you've not seen that, go go have a look. Uh, what we're going to do this, this video is we're going to compare the Paradigm Triple Diamond, AI Smoke Triple Diamond, standard Paradigm to AI Smoke Max, Paradigm X to smoke, AI Smoke Max Draw. So we're going to use same shaft in each head, same lofts for each model uh, in terms of so we can really directly compare what performance you're actually going to see between the two heads and what do we see from just a independent point of view as to what differences are there and what can you expect to see on course. So I'm going to hit each one, go through all the heads and then we'll go into the data and look at that once I've hit. Okay, so what I've done there is I've done hit every head with the same shaft. So just switched over, put the settings for each of the smoke max and the draw uh, in the same and the triple diamonds in the same setting. So we've normalized the data as much as we can. Uh, see me hitting each shot. So it's as, it's as similar as humanly possible. So we're gonna go just now compare between the triple diamond, paradigm and AI smoke, uh, then the paradigm Smoke Max, then the Paradigm X and the Smoke Max Draw. So we're going to go to the Triple Diamond first. So what we can see from a from a performance point of view there, yeah, ball, I know, ball speed, very, very, very similar. The actual kind of for me for those shots off the face, very little, a very little difference whatsoever. One of the things I think is that fairly noticeable is actually that the spin's actually a hair hair higher with the Triple Diamond Paradigm, um, but actually the variable on spin, if I can pull this number into view here, you, know, you go from with the AI smoke triple diamond, 266 is the tolerance on spin, 424 with the paradigm. Uh, and I think that that's certainly something from a performance point of view in the fitting bay this year. Um, the paradigm has been very good for low spin, but a little bit volatile. So certainly a little bit toey, it can knuckle out down uh, out, of the flat, out of the sky a little bit, a little bit healy, you do get a little bit more pickup. So consistency of spin seems to be very good out of the AI smoke triple diamond. Definitely a little bit of an uplift there. But in terms of raw distance, okay, there's a just about a mile an hour more ball speed, a little bit less spin, you're looking at two or three yards. I mean, that's an average. Uh, one thing you might find with the Paradigm is the Triple Diamond is that where you get that low spin one, that, that knuckly one, it can supercharge when you get it going absolutely miles. But in terms of stability of ball flight consistency, definitely a little bit of improvement from the AI smoke there. A very, very similar feel before I go on to the next one. Both very solid feeling. The, the note, the sound out of the smoke is a little bit firmer. So it's a slightly harder note, slightly 
you could argue from that slightly more solid feel, um, but definitely consistency wise, and that was probably the one bit that the paradigm had been lacking this last year or so, was that you got a little bit concerned about the toey one, doesn't seem to be as much of a problem out the AI smoke. So we'll move on to the standard paradigm and the, uh, the AI smoke max. So uh, you know, again, both, both very stable. It's both got a lot of weight at the back of the head. Uh, one of the things with the AI smoke max is where you've now got the front weight. That might be able to help us do a little bit of toying and take a bit of weight out the back, put a bit more in the front. Just drop that flight and that spin down a little bit. So always have that, that ability with the triple diamond. You can put the heavyweight at the back to add a little bit of flight and spin, move it slightly more towards the smoke max. Whereas actually now on the smoke max, we can put the weight forward and move that a hair more towards the triple diamond. So almost like a kind of a low spin smoke max. Um, option there potentially um, that'll be interesting to, to test with as we get the weights through and can do a little bit more testing with the varying options there but again you've launched relative to spin very similar but the smoke max definitely for me on those hits launching a little bit higher no change in angle of attack if anything slightly slightly lower angle attack with the smoke max so it's not through the action adding a little bit of loft but definitely picking that ball flight up a little bit more um, you know, from a Latly, for those who like to look at the stats, for me this is a bit too high aloft for what I would play, but the land angle going up by four and a half degrees there. So quite a noticeable change in height. Um, very, very similar ball speed. You know, ball speed may be fraction stronger out of the smoke max than paradigm, um, but in terms of you know, stability, you know, consistency of performance, again, 234 rev variable on the smoke max, that's very good. Again, if I drop down to the Paradigm 286, so very, very consistent performance between the two models, but the Paradigm sm AI Smoke Max having just a little bit more natural launch angle versus Paradigm on that series. We'll now move on to the, the one that I think is the most interesting change, or the biggest change certainly between the two models into the, uh, into the Smoke Max draw. I'm going to take a couple of these numbers off so we can focus on the key element here, which um, now slightly higher swing speed on the smoke max draw. So the ball speed and therefore the distance is going to be a little bit affected or not a little bit, it's going to be very much affected by that. You know, four miles an hour on ball speed, you're looking at about six, six, seven, seven or eight yards. So there's your six and a half yard distance uh, difference there. Almost identical on spin between the two. Um, but launch angle a little different, uh, two degrees lower with the Smoke Max draw than it is with the Paradigm X. Now the Paradigm X was a little bit more of a higher flight, certainly a bit draw biased, um, but more about a little bit of elevation and not such a low spin performance. Smoke Max draw has majored on draw and what we can see here is the far right number there, the face to path number. Now I'm not, I wasn't trying to do anything different with those swings but you can see that it's 2.3 degrees with the Paradigm X, so minus 2.3, which is closed for me being a right-handed golfer, minus five with the Smoke Max draw. Now, what I can tell you is that the, the Smoke Max draw head really feels like that toe whips over through impact, almost to the point where you think you've done something with the swing. Um, so actually for anyone who struggles with a ball losing it left to right, that's a big gain it's a really noticeable big difference and they've they've really tried this is a major and when we sat down with them uh, recently to go over the products this was a major element that they focused on with this head and, and i would say there's a big win for them in that respect uh, i've i've not felt a head do that before and um, through the ball so in terms of comparison to previous model a very very strong left hand bias and the other side of it is as well if i add in the uh the average side total here. So in terms of this is feet off line, uh, off center with Paradigm X, it's, it's 21 yards left, 64 feet left. Smoke Max draw is almost twice as much, 115 foot left. Um, so you're looking at the best part of 40 yards left. I mean, that's a, that's a huge amount of left hand movement. Um, considering that if I put it on the, if I go back into the standard smoke data there, it's actually 36 foot right. So I'm actually managing the face square with the standard smoke max, but with the max, max draw, you're looking at 45 yards more to the left than I could manage with the smoke max. So a really, really big difference there. But what they've done very well with that is kept the flight under control, kept that pretty strong. So from a performance point of view, they say, 
current heads versus uh, paradigm first generation model. A little bit more consistency on the triple diamond. I think spin stability is going to be a little bit, little bit better on that model. Um, now I know that they've gone for more distance, but occasionally you've got the supercharge out of the Paradigm Triple Diamond, so it may not match that. Um, but I think the the scary low spin out of the toe doesn't look as much of a problem as it was uh, as was with Paradigm Triple Diamond. With the standard Paradigm to Smoke Max, a little bit more launch, both very stable heads. Very similar spin proportions, but a little bit more flight uh, and height and therefore spin with Smoke Max. However, there's that front weight to mitigate that. That should be able to bring that down a little bit, but certainly more of an up and out flight. And then Max Draw, notably more right to left bias. So um, if you're someone who, who say struggling with a right hand miss, that's going to be a great, great head and a really great change from them on that front. So um, hope that helps with if you in paradigm and looking to upgrade what kind of benefits and differences you're likely to see and we'll we'll do another video with a fair word shortly